Hello. My name's Jonathan. Some of you might know me as Quay Abelageo. Well, technically, in a way, that's true. Same body. A few years ago, I went on a journey. Not a journey like crossing the street, going to another town, or even another country. A couple of years ago, I made a deal with my higher self to trade places. Now those of you who have watched my videos understand about the multiverse, uh, understand about parallel universes, and quantum leaps. I don't know what to say. I can tell you how I got here. In my perception, I can remember everything that happened relevant to this universe from this body's point of view. But there's a distinct difference between Quay, Father Indigo, Nakiel, and myself. We're all expressions of the same soul. They're all me, but they're different dimensional aspects of me. From my awareness and perception of me being Jonathan, I've been gone for two years. Well, more than two years. The ride was a bumpy one. And to be honest, I'm not sure how I got here, as far as arriving here. Maybe this was the destination that was the idea of going on the trip in the first place. I'm not the same as when I left. Physically, I'm exactly the same. I weigh the exact same weight. Uh, my muscles are in the same shape they were when I left, which is atrophied and bad. Um, in between that time I was a hundred pounds lighter because that's what that container needed to be to hold uh, that expression of myself that was Quay or uh, Nakia or Father Indigo. When I left my wife was unawake unaware. I was awake, somewhat, but unaware. I didn't understand the universe. I didn't understand anything beyond your everyday Joe. Step one in that journey, I had hit my rock bottom. I didn't know where else to turn. Some would say, God, I like to say that great I am, that I am presence, or source energy. I believed in that concept, that there was something greater than myself somewhere. And when I called upon that, and basically begged to be released. I don't believe in suicide, but I did not want to live. It was, my existence was horrible. And I was granted a passage. Now those of you who have seen my video that has Father Indigo speaking, uh, I believe it's the third one in the series. He explains how I, how he got there and how I got here. So I'm not going to go into all that. You can watch that video. But now that I am here, I want to say this to you simply. 
make the trip. It's your choice. You can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. If one man can do a thing, then another man can do it. If one woman can do a thing, another woman can do it. It is not a special trait. It's a choice. Now, as I've arrived here, like I said, I remember the things that this body went through. Maybe it's cellular memory. I don't know how that works exactly. I remember the lessons that Quay taught. I remember the experiences, some of them, that Quay had, not all. I remember... I don't like to even say I remember. It's more just that I know and I'm aware of the journey that was taken uh, by this body while I was gone. I don't have a memory, a consciousness of myself in between there and here. From my perspective, in a way, speaking of my awareness, not my physical body, I'm here instantly. I, uh, I jumped those, those couple years without existing as an awareness myself. It's hard to explain. Um, I'm going to explore that more in videos to come. But in the meantime, what I want to get across here right away uh, to people who are uh, subscribers to my page, and there's actually quite a few I was surprised, um, if you were friends with Quay, you're still friends with me. As I said, Quay was an eighth dimensional expression of my soul, but it's the same soul. And I do and would still remember you. I can't claim to have the same personality, uh, energy level, or even some of the same abilities that Quay exhibited. Um, I've watched some of his videos and it's, uh, it's strange seeing your body doing and acting and moving even in, in a different manner than you're used to it being you. Uh, I was not possessed. I know there's somebody out there right now going, oh, dude, you were possessed. <laughs> no. Uh, I had simply exchanged universes with them. Uh, awarenesses with them. And now I've returned. So I have a lot of videos to make, but uh, in this one, I just wanted to introduce myself. Uh, I have a lot of videos to make, a lot of things to talk about. So expect uh, expect a lot of videos from me coming up soon. And um, I love you guys. You know, I uh, I've been fundamentally changed. It's kind of like uh, the guy in the movie The Fly where something is fundamentally different, but he, he he's the self, except for without the mutant bad stuff and the crazy, you know, all that. Screw that. That's not part of it. It's all positive. But uh, I'm in a situation where I don't have perfect knowledge of the event that transpired. But in exploring my thoughts of it, my record, uh, rec I can't even talk, my, uh, My recalling of the events, of what happened and uh, where I'm at now, perhaps even with your help, I myself will have a greater understanding. Uh, I'm no longer depressed. I, uh, I don't like being here. 
on earth and the hatred and the conflict and everything but it serves a purpose and I chose to be here and that part I know too we'll go into a lot of that later anyway I know I'm rambling and I know it's kinda of all disjointed but uh, hey you know it's a little bit uh, <laughs> disorientating going from one universe to another and one time to another even if it was only a two-year jump but it was a real-life quantum leap and uh, I look forward to exploring that with you namaste take care